Well, those two powerful songs, eh? You mix the phrase that I'm Yes. By our very own. Tumempenda sana already. Najo, vile ngeza tu hivi song yake hivi? Yes. Everyone, hafa, kwa maskiwe. Najonga watu, nakanga kwa maskiwe. Hey, wana, unasikia. Wana, wana, wana wakasema tu, wow. <laughs> and I was like, I know. I know. The voice? Yes, hali yutu kwa mwada, she's our own, yeah? She's ah. our own. And we love her so much. Yes. Avina. Hi, girl. How are you? I'm fine. Wow, you? okay, okay. You look so good. Eh? Thank you. You, <laughs> you look so good. And sound so powerful. Yes. Thank you so much. Your voice is so deep oh, and wow. powerful. Thank you so My much. My goodness. I'm tempted to ask, when did you know you can sing like that? <laughs> <laughs> That I can sing like this. Yeah. I think it's it's been a process. It's been a process because I've been singing for so long, mm -hmm. for so long, uh -huh. since I was a child. But sure. Yeah, since I was a child, I used to sing in Sunday school. <laughs> you know, when they say, who will mm -hmm. give us a song? Mm -hmm. Then everyone says, Alvina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you sing, then went to church, sing, sang in choir. So I've been singing in choir, school, leading uh, CU praise and worships. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's been building over the years. It's as if you went to some sort of training yes. and got that deep and hollow and I don't know how to... <laughs> how can I describe it but uh, mm. music I'm an alto I'm an, an alto. alto yes but uh, it takes a lot of practice so you, so that you, you're able to get your voice control mm. together you're able to do your breath control mm -hmm. so it's a lot of work it's a lot of things put together mm -hmm. but practice mm -hmm. practice and of course prayer that makes you obtain grace mm -hmm. so that when you sing it's not performance it's actually yeah. ministration so it's, there's some sort of school that you went to amatunile practice uh, uh, in church maybe in school oh uh, i'd say mm. uh, i used to go for music festivals mm -hmm. and because i used to push myself so much my music teacher used to have a lot of attention on me mm -hmm. and he'd teach me and those days it was so tough for me i'd be like why only me there's mm. so many people in this school yeah. but now it really adds up mm. and uh so after some time i realized this is something i really like to do it's a passion i have so why don't i just invest in it so i practice a lot mm. I worship a lot, a lot, a lot, so many times. So you realize after some time, I may not notice it, but people who I'm with will always mm. tell me, ah, your voice has changed. I know. Yes. It's so. different and special. <laughs> uh -huh. And I love it already. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, you have such powerful song. Mm -hmm. And you say you worship a lot. Yes. What is worship to you? Worship to me is a fellowship. Mm -hmm. It's communion. You see the way uh, a mother has time for their kids. You, you keep hearing mothers being saying, I need to leave work early, I want to go be with my son. So that is wo what worship is for me. I go there and we just have a conversation. It's fellowship, it's communion, it's something very intimate for me. Mm -hmm. It's how I get to talk to God, it's how actually God talks to me. So many times when we're just worshiping, I begin to hear some words and I'm like, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Or even when I'm going through something tough and I really, you know, sometimes you really don't have solutions to issues. Mm -hmm. And um, God begins to give you, God will make a ah, way. Mm -hmm. And then you're just like, okay. Soon can you too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so God communicates mm -hmm. with me through worship. So mm -hmm. it's fellowship for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. That is so amazing. All right. Let me just silence that. That is so amazing. A worship and a worshiper. You worship in truth and spirit. Mm -hmm. And I like the way you say it, less a communion, like a friendship you built mm -hmm. with God. Yes. That in every circumstance, God is always speaking new with you mm -hmm. during worship. Right. Do you worship in church as well? Yes. Yes. yes you do. lead worship? Yes. How important is, is it for any musician, any artist to be part of a worship group or a worship team and even serve in church mm -hmm. as a worship as well? From my years of experience, uh, service in church has made me obtain grace. You see, I keep hearing people saying that, oh, I need to touch the hem of your garment mm. and walk in the grace you're walking in. God mm. give me the grace that Sinach walks in. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it doesn't come like that. <laughs> you, if you want to be a leader, uh -huh. you must bend down and serve. Mm. God lifts those who have humbled themselves under him to serve him. 
he only lifts you from there you know you have to go there and serve mm. from there you will always be edified because in church you will always receive the word of god uh, in church you will learn how to communicate with people in church you will also learn that music you, you're not a performer in a church in church you're not a star mm. uh -huh. you, you get my point Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> in church you are somebody who has gone there to serve and just offer your sacrifice to your god mm. so when you get out of that place um, someone is like, oh, you sing so local, like, oh, okay, mm. thanks, <laughs> you know, but uh, you don't get that, a lot of that from church, mm, mm. so it takes away the cup pride mm. and mm. the starship. Mm, mm. I love yeah. it, I love you know. it. Uh -huh. yeah, so it's very important. It is. Mm -hmm. I have asked, that's quite me, you know, but mm. uh, it's <laughs> quite <laughs> Jenny hit that it takes away your star and your mm. pride mm -hmm. and you're just there in your humility serving. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Pendolako, mm -hmm. tell us about this song. And also tell us about tender, tender mercy. Tender mercy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, because our, yeah. All right. At least we're not up your grace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the top grace. Yeah. <laughs> so, Pedro Laco, mm. we were actually going to studio mm. to record some music. We have some music coming up. Mm. And uh, Pedro Laco wasn't part of the music we went to record. Mm. And so we're just there, you know, after studio you come back because i work with a big team as you can see yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clearly so this is how we actually go to the studio to mm -hmm. record music mm -hmm. and we talk about it because uh the bible says share your vision and the one that run it with it will run with it mm -hmm. you know so we share a lot so with that day we were feeling a lot of thanksgiving god had done just we had done well at the studio and so as we are seated we are just worshiping in the house doreen is playing the guitar and god begins to speak like mm -hmm. i said it's fellowship yes. Yes. at all the, at all times. We began to hear, uh, mm -hmm. and then I kept asking God, so what what verses are we putting in this song? Mm -hmm. And then Psalms one or three comes, wow. you know, where it, it says he he uh in a siangum he made born. If you just read Pendolako is actually just Psalms one or three. Psalms one or three. The things that God mm -hmm. does for you. He, 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 he has done so many things. When you read Psalm 103, you realize that you have seen with your eyes and felt with your hands the things that God does. Mm. So that was where Pendolako came from. And so we had to tell the, when we sent it to the producer, he was like, we are doing it tomorrow. We are recording it. So it wasn't part mm. of the recording, mm. wow. but it turns out it was a very wonderful song. Mm. And Tender Masses? And then Tender Masses is mm. a song that uh, we started writing three years ago. Three years? Uh -huh. Yes, three years ago, and uh, the communication I was getting from God, he kept on asking me. Every time you come to my presence, you're always asking, mm -hmm. God heal me, yeah. give me money, yeah. uh, do this for my mother, <laughs> do this for my you people. You have like a shopping list. Mm. You know, every time you're, you're always going to withdraw, you're always going mm. to withdraw. And uh, he was like, when do you just come to fellowship, just to, to have a conversation? Mm. It's not that every time I keep giving, yes. you know. And I was just like, okay, oh wow. So I began to think about the goodness of God, began mm. to think about how God has been faithful yes. personally, not even the mm. things he does, you know, at mm. the things he does for your family yes. personally, the tender, those are the tender masses yes. because they're so tender to you. Mm. And so we wrote the first part of the song mm. and then later on when mm. we were worshiping, yeah. this is now 2021 20, last 20. year. So you released it? Oh. I released it this, this year. year. But so I the other part mm. of the song was written during that time yeah. where I charged my spirit to rise up and sing love to the Father yes. who has been so faithful and a consistent. Journey. Mm. A journey of three years. Yes. Amazing.